I'd been up a little bit before Dick was on his way up, and then that year they, they decided to make Dick Allen our third baseman. So I was playing short most of the time, and he would say, look, anywhere you want me to move, anything you want me to do, anything anything at all, you know, just help me out, help me out. And Gina told me, you know, like any balls hit behind him or, you know, anywhere near that, take it. But, boy, when he swung that bat, it was – it was uh, – Unbelievable. I mean, he could he he could generate that forty ounce bat, and we thought all thought it was a weighted bat, you know, where that we could warm up with, you know. And he was just swinging it right at the end and just whack, and had no fear at home plate. I mean, they buzz him and he just get up and hit one off the clock. And a great athlete, steal bases, he did all that stuff. And then when he got into that uh, car accident or however happened, uh, it hurt his throwing and everything. So he wound up playing left field. And my job was as soon as the ball was hit, I had to run to left field, and he had to flip it to me, and I threw it to second to hold the guy to a single. So base hit, there I go, I run it out to left field, and he flipped me the ball, I throw it to second. Then I go out there, and I'm about from here to this pole away from him, and he decides to try to throw the guy out himself, and that ball's heading right here at me. But that was Richie. But he could hit him. I mean, he hit him over that, that Connie Mac billboards as far as you can see. I, I wish we could figure out where they landed sometimes because they were, they were just moonshots.